Hey, what is going on everyone? This is your boy from Reach Side, the Bengal Dragon. Make sure to hit that like, subscribe and bell notification buttons as all your support really helps this legally blind YouTube content creator to remain motivated to continue making a variety of different type of videos on this channel and through the YouTube algorithms would also help this channel grow. Now, um, I ran a poll on my uh, YouTube community page. Um, and yeah, it seems that uh, the best way to go about this is Cover Bangladesh matches in the Cricket World Cup along with a few other matches. So these few other matches, uh, like depending if I have the time or if I'm interested in them, I will cover them. And this was after England, New Zealand. So I was going to cover that, but you know, after that I ran the poll. So starting now, I will see what I can cover. But I'll also try and cover some of the Bangladesh matches uh, based on the highlights that I've seen that... Uh, that are available on YouTube because it's a, it's a little difficult to actually watch the matches live considering the time of day or early in the morning or sometimes very late at night when they start like 1 a.m. You're gonna start a cricket match at 1 a.m. US standard time and expect me to stay awake till 9 a.m. to finish it. I'm like no, 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 no. That's not how it works. Okay, like and besides like I'm I'm at the very critical juncture of my uh, coursework or my degree program, so I just don't have the time. But uh, watching today's match of Bangladesh versus Afghanistan, first of all, hats off to Shakib, hats off to Mehdi Hassan Mirad and the entire bowling unit. They did very well. Uh, Tawhid Ridoy, I believe he was left out. Um, Hassan Mahmood was left out. Um, Mehdi Athan Miraz was promoted to number four, which I think is a good move, is a very, very good move. And I believe Mushik Rahim was the, was the wicket keeper. So um, Bangladesh bowled first and I believe uh, restricted Afghanistan to 156 or something. Yeah, um, under 40 overs and Towards the beginning, we saw that uh, uh, Afghanistan had something going for them. Then Shaki brought himself on, and I believe even Dale Stane, he brought this up, that Shaki was very proactive as a captain. And even in some of the news reports, this is actually one of the reasons I took some time to actually post this video. I wanted to see what other people are saying as well. Apparently, Shaki had very strategically placed fielders whilst he was bowling so that the mistake and the false throw could have been induced this is the sign of a good captain and this is also the sign of an immature opposition they still did not play enough cricket to catch this is the plan to catch what the opposition's plan is and how to counter attack that plan okay so this match, Mehdi Athan Miraz took three wickets. He, I believe he scored 57. Rightfully so, man of the match. Tanzid Hassan, he was unlucky to get out. LKD though, man, listen, if you have to bring in Tamim Iqbal, okay, okay, and like, I don't know, some trickery or whatever, if you want to bring in Tamim Iqbal, have him replace LKD because I think we have given LKD enough chances and this is too important a stage for LKD not to perform consistently. Okay, because he is the senior statesman between the two, between Tamzid Hassan and himself. Okay, you can't expect Najmul Hussain Shanto to pick up the pieces every time LKD gets out for cheap. Okay, but that being said, Najmul Hussain Shanto he was not out. Mushik Rahim was not out. Hopefully, Shakib Hassan could have been not out. But, you know, uh, he lost his wicket. But, yeah, there was nothing significant to change down. Bangladesh won the match under 35 overs. So, and they lost only four wickets, one of which was a run out. And notice, Rash, if I'm not mistaken, Rashid Khan... Uh, Mujibur Rahman and Muhammad Nabi, they did not get any wickets. So, 
So yeah, Bangladesh have shown the rest of the teams how to counter attack Afghanistan's spin bowling. And Afghanistan's white ball spin attack is, well, I consider them the best in the world. And Bangladesh just showed you the formula on how to handle the best spin attack in the world in white ball cricket. So other teams, you're welcome. But yeah, emphatic win by Bangladesh, but still problems remain. LKD needs to fire. The pace bowling attack, Taskin Ahmed, I don't think uh, he's getting as many wickets as he would like. He's getting it for quite a few runs, but you know, that's okay as long as you get wickets. If you get hit for quite a few runs and don't get wickets, then you end up being a bit more of a liability. But let's see what happens next match. The next match is going to be huge. It's against England, and it's very, very important. And it's very, very crucial that Bangladesh win that because uh, Bangladesh need to win as many matches as possible. And that match, I have a very strong feeling England are going to win because England just got walloped by New Zealand and their backs are against the wall, so they will look to fight back. I don't know if Ben Stokes is going to return for the England-Bangladesh match, but don't be surprised if he does. And let us hope the best team wins that we get a very good game of cricket. Yeah, the ground has some issues as well, but, you know, that's not under Bangladesh's control. All right, let me know what you thought about this match in the comment section below. And as always, hit that like, subscribe, bell notification button. This is your boy, Tanvir Sai, the Bengal Dragon, signing out.